Hey everybody and welcome to Ages Cozy Crochet Corner where today on the corner we'll be doing light ponchos. So these poncho cover-ups are perfect. Perfect for beach or just if you want to wear them over an outfit. I absolutely love them and in the Kobu yarn that I did them in they really have an elegant flow. So we'll be using a lightweight three yarn in order to make them. This one as you see has a more open neck line where the one we'll be working on at the table today um, has more of a closed neckline. So you'll see that right here in the picture, how it looks with the closed neckline um, versus the more open one. My favorite, of course, is the more open one. And I just absolutely love how these colors blend together and the flow of it all. So I guess pick which one you want and let's get to the table and make a nice, breezy flowy poncho okay crochet fam so we're at the table and these are all the colors that i'm going to be using to make this uh, summer poncho so we're going to need scissors um optional a stitch marker and i'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook we will you be needing a yarn needle to weave in our ends and i'm using Kobu by Lion Brand and this is a light three yarn. The color is a lilac on this one and it's 232 yards in each of these right here. So this color is Lichen and this one is basic white. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to put these colors at the top the most of the work will be done in the white and then i'll come in at the bottom and put these two colors in at the bottom as well as four tassels okay so we're going to begin with our getting our first color and let's go ahead and build the chain Okay, so my foundation chain is going to consist of 88 um, for the foundation chain. Now, if you want to change the size, I will work in multiples of four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I have my chain of 88 and I measured it. It is 28 inches long. So I want to join this and I want to make sure everything's on the right side. So I want to pull and make sure this is connected with no twists and turns in my chain at all. So I'm going to go into the first chain. And I want to slip stitch right there. So slip stitch, I'm just going to go through the chain that I just went into. And I'm going to go through the opposite side. And that's it. Now once I have that, I want to chain up one which is not going to count for anything and where we slip stitched i want to go immediately back into there and make a single crochet hmm. now i want to crochet a single crochet in every single chain so by the end going all the way around i should come out with 88 single crochets Okay, so I went around with my 88 single crochets, um, making sure that I counted to make sure I had everything, all 88 of them. And now that we got into the last one, 
we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. So this is the first single crochet. I'm going to go in, grab my yarn, pull through, and then pull through the last loop on my hook. And I'm gonna chain up three. One, two, three. Every row begins with a chain of three, which stands as a double crochet. Mm -hmm. So in this first where I just slip stitched and I've made my chain of three, I want to chain two more, okay? Yarn over and go into that same stitch. And this is going to be our first increase. Right. So we chain three, which stands as a double crochet. We chain two, because we will chain two in every increase stitch. And then we place a double crochet back into that same stitch. And that is be how we make all of our increases on this row. Right. Now we're just going to place double crochets in every stitch until we get to the opposite side. Now there should be 43 double crochets before we get to the opposite side. So these points are matching, okay? So increase and then you should have 43 double crochet and then we'll come back in and we'll make our next increase. Okay, so I have my 43 double crochet. And now I reach where I place my stitch marker. And this is going to be where we place another increase here. So I'm gonna move my stitch marker, it's no longer needed. And into this stitch, I'm going to place a double crochet. I'm going to chain two and then place another double crochet into the same stitch. These points, the one here and the one here, is where we're going to get a natural increase from. Now that I've made my point, I should have 43 st stitches for 43 double crochet until I get back to the beginning. Okay, so I've gotten all the way around. I've placed 43 double crochets, and now I am back to where I began. Now, in this first chain that we did right here, we chain three, and then we chain two to count as the in-between and our point. So we want to count up one, two, three, and we want to go into the third chain right there. Mm -mm -mm. And we want to slip stitch right there. All right. And then we have it. We've established our points on this row. Now our next row is going to establish the rest of the pattern for the whole entire piece. Okay. Now one thing I want to point out. Your starting chain of three will be shifting. Okay. So every time you go down another row where you're chaining three, it's going to start shifting, okay? One, two, three. Now that three is gonna count for right where we slip stitched it, okay? So that's right there. Now we're going to go 
right back into our point and we're going to make another point but our points now are going to change we're going to be going in placing two double crochets chain two and two double crochets into both of our points okay so going inside and i'm going to place my two double crochet chain two and go right back into that same space with two double crochet mm -hmm. so this is now how our points can work now right next to that we have our next stitch right here and we're going to go there and place a double crochet now we're going to start to chain one skip a stitch and then place a double crochet we're going to chain one skip a stitch and then the next stitch place a double crochet chain one skip a stitch and into the next stitch place a double crochet chain one skip a stitch and in the next stitch place your double crochet and we're going to keep this all the way out until we get one to the other side where our point is okay so keep going to the next point and I'll meet you there okay so I have done my chain one double crochets all the way until I got to my next point now that should put you out at the stitch right before your point so you should be right at the stitch before your point and now we're going to make our point again doing our two double crochets chain two and go right into that same point with two more double crochets Now we want to place in the next stitch, which is right here, we want to place a double crochet here. Chain one. And then we're gonna skip this stitch and into the next stitch, we'll place a double crochet. Chain one. We're going to skip this stitch and into the next stitch, a double crochet. Chain one, skip this stitch and in the next stitch, double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way down just like we did on this side. Now I've gone all the way around. I have one stitch right here left. So I have to make sure I put that final chain one to represent that space right here. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we began with. Mm -hmm. And now we're here. We're gonna chain our three to represent our double. Now that chain of three holds for this stitch. We're immediately gonna begin our chain one because that's the next thing we do, chain one. And then we place a double crochet after skipping a stitch. So we're gonna skip our next stitch and into our final stitch which is right before we go into our point 
we're going to go into our point and make our two double crochets chain two go back into our point and make two more double crochets And then our next stitch, which is right here, we will place our double crochet. And then we will begin with our chain one, skip one, and double crochet. Chain one. Now once we get here, because we've already established a chain one, skip one, we'll be going right into that double crochet. chain one this is a chain one space so we're skipping the chain one space and we're going right into the double crochet chain one again the chain one space so we're going into the double crochet and now because we've already established our chain one double crochet here all of these will be chain one and go into the double crochet chain one and go into the double crochet so that's how it should be going all the way back around to our next point so i'll meet you at the next point okay so i've gone all the way around to my next point doing my chain one double crochet now that should bring you out to the stitch right before your point that's where we should be at with our last double crochet so we're not going to chain one remember we're going to go immediately into our point and we're going to do two double crochets chain two two double crochets into our point right back into our point mm -hmm. and now we're going to go into our next stitch right after our point which is right here and make our double crochet here chain one skip one go into the next stitch with a double crochet chain one and then we're going to start going right into our doubles and chain one skip one so note with the points as you see with the points your last double crochet before you go into the point should end at the double crochet right before the point then we're going to go in there two double crochet chain two two double crochet and our one coming out of the point should start at the very next double crochet chain one skip one which is going to place us right here and then we should be able to chain one skip one and just work here Mm -hmm. so all of our points are going to kind of look like shells because it's going to be three double crochet together here and three double crochet together here and on every single row it should be like that you should always have a double crochet in that first double crochet right before your point and one right after okay and then chain one double crochet and it should always link you right back up with these so we're going to go over the point for one more row and then i'm going to show you how we're going to switch colors so i'll meet you at the other point okay so i've gone all the way around and i want to look at this area um because this is where we begin and again i told you this chain three that we begin with it's going to shift it started right here inside our point 
then it moves over one now it's on the outside so this is going to continuously move so never get mixed up on where you're supposed to be so i have placed my last double crochet here i still have a chain one space that i have to account for so i'm going to chain one and then slip stitch into the top of that chain three and that's going to be right here so we're going to slip stitch there mm -hmm. so then we would just chain three again and then we would begin our pattern now i want to at this point switch colors and bring in the lavender so when i'm ready to switch colors i'm going to leave a long enough piece that i can weave in And I'm just going to pull this through and up. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my next color. Okay. So I want to go right where I chain three. And place my hook there. And I'm going to add on my yarn right there. And then I'm going to chain up. Once I pull that down going to chain up one two three just as i would if i didn't switch colors okay so we're just going to continue on add one in the chain three area lock it on and chain three up so now i have to start my pattern now we want to note that there was this chain three had an extra chain on it because we began with a chain one space so we must maintain that chain one space so we have to add an extra chain to our chain three for our chain one space and then we begin our pattern going here for our double chain one skipping that one so right here is where we should be the one right before our point and then we'll go in our point and make our point two double crochets chain two and into the same stitch two double crochets now we're going to go into the first double crochet right after our point chain one we're skipping one here and we're going into the next one chain one and now we're back at our double crochets chain one double crochet chain one and so forth and so on so i'll meet you at the next point and we'll go over that again okay so i've gone all the way up you see the pattern maintains itself and now that we're at a point i've stopped at the stitch the last stitch right before my point I'm going to go into my point and make the two double crochets chain two and then two double crochets and then my next stitch is right here in the first double crochet right after my point chain one skip one and then place a double crochet chain one and then I'm back to maintaining this side just as it is okay. all right so we're gonna go ahead and chain one 
and go into each double crochet chain one go into the next double crochet i'll meet you around at the other point just so we can look at how to end and begin one final time okay so going over how to close up again we always just want to make sure that we know where we are in the pattern okay so if we begin with chain of three we chain one for our space right so if we end here on a double crochet we know we have to create our chain one for this space right here so we want to chain one and then go one two and three and pull through mm -hmm. remember where we are in our pattern all of our beginnings are a one two three chain to stand for our double crochet plus an extra chain to stand for our chain one space yarn over and then go into the double crochet so i make note of that so when you're ending off on each of these rows you want to make sure that you're only going one two three and then slip stitch and leaving that chain one space that we created there okay and and now we're chain one space we're going to go into that first double crochet chain one skip one and now we're in the double crochet right before our point we'll make our points chain two go back into that point space and make another two double crochets and then the next double crochet it's going to be right after the point chain one skip one and place your double crochets chain one and now we'll be going into our double crochets chain one double crochet so i think you got it um just wanted to make sure we're clear on where we are here when we come back around to slip stitch and then begin and like i said this chain one uh, this uh beginning chain three it's going to keep shifting but once we're once we're past here one two three once we're on the fourth row there it will always be a chain one space before it and a chain one space after it okay so on the on this row and on this row they're right before what well, it one is the beginning into the point one is connected to that area where the point is so there's no chain one space there but once we come here it's the one two three fourth row it now always has to have a chain one before it and a chain one after it and it will continue to do that so i want to make sure you have that area clear everything else we're going to keep following out our points just like we have been and every row should flow in the same way with our points and as you've seen so far nothing changed um as far as where you're going but it is growing now i'm going to go down as much as i like with the uh lilac and then i'm going to switch to my white i'm going to come back in with this color and then bring this color in as well and once i get my desired row amount i'll let you know exactly how many rows i have and we'll end it off together 
Okay, so I've finished with my whole piece. I came in and brought those two colors back in at the bottom. I, in total, the whole thing is 40 rows. So I only went to the 40th row. And you see how I brought the other colors in. I did two rows of that and two rows of that. And I thought that was enough. Um, this is all the white that I have left. I'm going to use this to make tassels, just the white. Um, and this is how much of the this color that I use. And of course, I only needed one of these. And the same here. I actually got a little sidetracked and started doing something else with the um, with this lavender ish color leaching. But this, no, this is leaching. <laughs> What I want to call this? Yeah, lilac. I started doing something else with the lilac, um, but I used pretty much the same amount. So it was about half of it left over um, when I finished this project, just to give you an idea how much you need. So half of your two colors and um, the three th of these. But the only thing is I'm going to use the rest of this to make um, some tassels and we're gonna put white tassels at the end. So I'm gonna show you how to make those um, I would grab a book any book of your liking for size, okay? <laughs> and we're gonna take The yarn that we want to make our tassels out and we're gonna place it with our thumb over it at the bottom of the book and now I'm just going to simply roll this around. Let this drop. I'm going to have to roll this around just like this constantly. And of course for this, I'm going to need a lot of tassels. So I'm going to make is a lot of them by doing this quite a few times. So I have a lot on here. But just for this, I'm going to show you right here. So you want to cut off that bottom piece mm -hmm. and you want to take all of your yarn and you want to cut it right there at the bottom. So technically all of our tassels are now should be even and I want to take I want to take and I'm going to use two strands, I think. So I'm going to use two strands and when folded over, that's going to make four. And we're going to put these all the way around, okay? So I'm going to take my hook that I've been using. And wherever you want your tassels, you're going to just go inside where you want your tassel to be. And I'm gonna choose right here in the center. I'm gonna grab my yarn, pull through, not all the way. I'm gonna grab my yarn again and go through the loop, okay? Pull it right through that loop. And then we're gonna pull it down, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate one more. And again, you're gonna place these wherever you like. I'm gonna do every second stitch. So I'm gonna place my my hook where I want to go. I'm gonna grab my two strands. Fold them over so they become four. Add them to my hook. Pull down. Now I want to go around and grab it and pull it through. And then now tight to tassels. So again, I'm gonna do my tassels all the way around my project. And we know how to make our tassels, create a bunch of them. I don't wanna mess around with it too much cause it's white um, and white and white, hard to see. So, but we know how to make our tassels now and grab our book or something that we can use to wrap our tassels around in the size that we desire. Um, make them in the size we desire. 
and just go ahead and add them on wherever you want to on yours i will be going all the way around and let's see how this one looks again um be it if you made this one or if you made the larger collar one uh, they both they both have the same amount of rows and i'm doing the tassels in the same exact way the only thing that changes is the neckline okay so uh let's look at these pieces put together all over again all right everybody so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i had fun making it um i hope you have fun making it too and just remember when we do our tassels um if you are using a very light yarn you may want to do what i do and i said let me demonstrate this for you guys i take every last one of my tassels and i place little knots at the end of it so my yarn doesn't unravel um so hopefully you like this like it if you like it and let me know what you think in the comment sections and i'll see you next time on ages cozy crochet corner